Alright guys, welcome to another vlog. We're out here at a place called Platinum Mechanical and Suspension and uh, Raptor's getting a snorkel, which I'm pretty damn stoked about. Um, for Americans, in Australia it's very much a thing, like especially if we travel north, there's always heavy flooding because it gets very tropical and what we get in Australia is a lot of flooded tracks and especially trips to Cape and whatnot, um, you quite often see water over the bonnet, over the hood and I basically, not only does the snorkel look rad, which I'll show you in a second on this Mercedes four wheel drive, but it's extremely functional for Australia, so that is why I'm getting one, and sounds sick. So this is, um, this is Josh's, like, yeah, this is his demo, I guess his own personal car. It's a Mercedes four wheel drive. Definitely not subtle, but uh, he's obviously got a wrap on it, but um, really nice truck. But the snorkels that they do here, really clean, really nice. I've gone for a black one. This is obviously just a, a clear one. It looks like it's just been coated in something. But it comes up to the top. Obviously, you can get your car fairly deep in water with this setup. And uh, I'm digging this tray, actually. I'm digging this tub setup. That's actually pretty rad. I could definitely do with doing this on mine. But yeah, I nearly bought one of these Mercedes four wheel drives. They're a similar price to the Raptor, but definitely not as cool as the Raptor. So I'm pretty glad I went with the Raptor. But um, anyway, we'll go in here and watch him cut up my new truck. Scary. Drilled a hole in my truck. We both drilled a hole in my truck. Hoping it wasn't asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's gone. Still make you nervous, or is it just like whatever's now? Nah. Anything now? Ah, he's drilling into my truck. Oh well, it's gonna look sick when it's done. I'm really excited to see it done, but watching him drill into the side of the truck is so weird. Maz happy to do it with drift cars, but this is by a long shot the most expensive car I own, and watching it get drilled into the side of is. Now this is cool. This is something I should know that I didn't know, but the uh, the front guards on the Raptor are like a fiberglass. They're actually like. Hey. Like... That's crazy. They're I don't know if they're like a. They're like a really hard fiberglassy sort of stuff. Really rad. I did not know the front quarter panels on a Raptor were like that. I don't think the rear quarters, I think the rear quarters are still metal, but the front are a fiberglass. That's rad. Stoked. Big changes. That's rad. Finished job now, thank you. I'm absolutely stoked on it guys, it looks so good. So, I know a lot of Americans watching, you guys don't tend to do the whole snorkel thing, but it's a real thing in Australia. It's not a want necessarily, it's a need when you're here. Especially if you want to head north, like I said. But I am absolutely stoked with the two day transformation of this truck. I think I want one of those racks. I like the rack on the back. The Baha rack? Yeah, the Baha rack looks sick. Maybe, maybe. Alright guys, so I want to try and get the noise of the snorkel on camera for you guys now in my street so I can try and get it, but uh, this thing sounds so sick now. Dude, the thing sounds so good. The best thing is when I put my window up, I really can't hear it. Like with my window up, I can't hear the snorkel at all. But the window down, you get sick induction noises. It flutters, it, it man, I'm stoked. This car's just gone from like super stock to like, well, not, it's hardly modified, but just 
such a huge difference just wheels and snorkels have wheels and snorkel have made. I'm absolutely stoked. We're going for driving in the bush. We're going for driving in the bush. Yes, we are. We've got Pristy, aka Sausage, behind us. We got Larkins behind him, and we're meeting some other people. Um, gonna be a good time. I want to test out the four wheel drive. Not necessarily test out the snorkel as such, but I do yeah, want to. Cow, um, cow, yeah, there's cow. cows. Um, I don't necessarily want to test the snorkel going in any super deep water, but it is rainy. But uh, yeah, I just want to take the car for a wheel. It now looks pretty damn amazing. I'm so stoked on the Raptor now. The bigger stance and the noises that now come from this thing are sensational. I'm absolutely stoked. But uh, yeah, let's go wheeling. Lockdown anywhere. <laughs> Designated recovery guy. Yep. He's got his boots on ready to go and he's got vinyl <laughs> floors, so he's good oh, for man, it. Man, I've been fucking got corona on the halfway here. <laughs> Social God, distancing. Bro, Social just, distancing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just halfway yeah. here, choked on I don't know, air. <laughs> <laughs> Coughing the whole fucking way. <laughs> uh, and then we got Daniel, he hasn't got out of his car, I think he's scared of the rain. But he's coming out as well. And he's not rich. Look. You know how I know he's not rich? Yeah, Princey. You know how I know he's not rich? It's one of those Povo Wild Tracks. I'm not rich either. I'm a dickhead with a loan, but yeah. <laughs> I got a loan. Yeah. I like the Shuckers plates are better than I got a loan, so yeah. I right, go back again. If you get the front to pop up onto that ledge, you come up. Yeah, that's it. Easy. <laughs> we'll have to tow you. Wait, Larkin should go first because we'll have to tow you up here. You won't get up there with open diff. And there's, I don't think there's a bitch way around this bit. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's, it's straight up, but there's too many rabbit holes. So we got Larkins, he's gonna come and give it a whirl. Larkins usually goes pretty hard. I know that Princey won't make it. We'll definitely have to pull Princey through because he's open. Um, give it a shot. Huh? I'm trying to give it a red hot go. Oh, I'll give it a red hot shot then. Are you gonna run? Huh? Are you gonna run? Oh, well, Larkins will pull him, whatever. You need to stay pretty far across that side to get the start. So you ideally don't want the back to drop in that hole that it's about to drop in. Well, try, just come forward first. You got in low range? Ah, that's fine. Yeah, go in low range, mate. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There we go. See, it'll, it's that wheel's in the hole. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Try climb the wall. Just straight ahead, nah, like that angle, yeah, that angle. Oh. If you could get the front to pop up, you'd probably fucking drive up. Oh, it's so close. Nah. Get your back end across. You, you need to get across that way. Go back? Yeah, like hard, hard. Hard left hand down to get yourself across that way further. Your front will drop it, that's fine. I'm not going to flip in that. Stay on that line. You're right. Yeah. You just done a little, like you're literally on a tire. You just need to bump past it. Over this way. Now come. Yeah. Yours up? 
You should see Cody. Yeah, is he loving it? He himself as a little coming through before. Yeah. And now he's sort of just standing like, sitting like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, do it in left foot, see if it'll hook up. Way a bit and try and drive around. Oh, you, you can't really get around it. The only way you can sort of get around is if you get up onto that ledge, yeah, but not with ATs. Like, if he comes this way a little bit, I don't know. Yep. Oh, so close. Oh, yeah. There we go. Keep going. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Kobe? How's that, Kobe? Hey, Baba. Is that good? He's just like, what, what, what happened? happened? <laughs> you love it? Yeah. It almost looked like it was going to climb then. A little bit more momentum than he probably Yeah. Yeah, none care. Well, uh, there, there's inspiration for you. Oh, CVs are already clicking on the way up. It's got bigger tyres though. Did you just break it already? Oh, don't bounce it, please. His wheels off the ground, is it? Is it? Oh, God. That was. <laughs> How do you feel, Fritzy? Oh, he's got, he's got decent tyres. So. He does. Yeah. That's, that that thing sounds, sounds like it's just breaking the entire time. Yeah. Dude, it's been like that since I bought it. Really? Yeah. Good drive, yeah. good drive. Ah, oh, you got this, mate. Oh. Oh, you foot brake it. Are you in two-wheel drive? Come to me. Oh, nicely. Just touching side skirt. Um. Off the ground. Oh. Woo. <laughs> Where am I going? Um, I don't know which way you sort of want to come up. <coughs> Just creep up slowly there. You're on that you're on that rock behind you, stop there. Oh, she's climbing. At that side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Especially in the wet. Last wheel's coming up now. Me either. I'm straight up here. Bye, pussy. Bye, pussy. I'll get stuck. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that's not going to slip off it, is it? Yeah, uh, it should be alright. Yeah, up on the front now, anyway. The front was up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's sliding on the step. Oh. That's what I was trying to ask about. Yeah. Oh. 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 Turn, turn up it. Yep, keep going. Alright, keep going. Give it a boot call, give it a boot call. Left hand down. Yeah. The first day of Kura, like first week I had the car. That was the last like, time you came four wheel driving. Yeah. <laughs> that was like he six was like, years ago. Yeah, no, it was like four years ago. Three was years. It? Yeah, three and a half. That was pre Scarlet, wasn't it? No, it was oh. over here. Oh, okay. Scarlet in Perth. Is Larkin's going to try stuff or? And brand, brand new wheels are now scratched front and back, I think. Oh no. Definitely scratched on the back. Oh, oh. that's what it's for. Yeah. It would have happened when I just fell off there, dude. <laughs> no, not the back one, front one. Oh, yeah. oh. That was where I told you to go left and you didn't listen to me. I want a spotter! Let's go all the way out! I'm tired! Oh. Stay there, guys. Back up there near the trees, guys. No. Nah. Yeah. 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 Get it again there. It's not much of a crossover. Two wheel driving. Too far in the ditch. Need to sort of. Can I help you if you went straight? No, nah, because that side of push it in. Can we get your left side up here? I'm actually going to go right up.
down. Um, the chassis is lower than the set, yeah? I'll probably use chassis before. Can you flat? Right, keep going, keep going. Yep, launching up. <laughs> oh, bro, they make all the difference, eh? Hey? <laughs> Alright, so we've got Prince is heading that way, the Triton, he's got wire and stuff caught on his uh, thing, and then this, oh Prince he made it, and then this ranger in front of me is about to send it as well. <laughs> oh my god, this is epic. <laughs> Made it. Princey's done himself a mischief. Big hole. <laughs> Let me know when you got away. I'm coming up the break. Yeah, a little bit of uh, right hand down, Princey. Yep. Yep. Um, all right, so on today's vlog, we ended up really lost, really stuck. I didn't film a lot of it. I know I needed to be pulled out at least once. And Princey once. Princey once. You got through some stuff. But uh, yeah, it's been wild. We're still not out yet. We're currently stuck in a construction zone and the security guard doesn't have a key to let us out. So we need to uh, basically open the fence and get out. <laughs> so see how we go. All right, we made it out, mobile. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to the security. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, sir. So, security for letting us out. Wow. That was good fun to go for a wheel. Yeah, Already right. scratched my new wheels. You got a little scratch on your door? A little ding. I don't know if it scratched it. A little ding or scratch I'm on just, your door. Just shaving mud off me feet. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, oh, you got your sill. Um, what else? You, Larkin's, Larkin's come out unscathed. Yeah, what yeah, the hell? I've redeemed myself from the last outing. <laughs> Thanks. You got something? So I apologise for everybody that is watching the live premiere. I'm obviously not on it right now because kind of lost. We got lost. So you get any damage? No. No damage at all. Mackers. Let's go. Oh, the kids are hungry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, boys. Welcome to day two of this vlog. I've already gone down, dropped the kids off, got coffee. What I didn't film last night is I gave it a good a go as you can late at night. Use my new lights and everything and cleaned a decent amount of the mud off the Raptor. Yeah, so I'm that guy in the street right now, but it's still absolutely filthy. And I don't have a gurney, so what I am gonna do is I am gonna wash it, and then I'm going to, later on, probably go and look into getting myself a gurney or a pressure washer or whatever you wanna call it, because I need one. This little hose I've got and no real pressure. It's about time I purchased myself a proper gurney to be able to wash cars. Because what I will do is I'll be able to gurney that and clean it. But I'll be able to pull this out, give it a good gurney down before uh, we get it sandblasted. Which I'm not sure to make that much of a difference. But it'll just be cool to see it cleaned up. So, um, yeah. Cue the time lapse of washing the Raptor. Raptor is clean, pretty clean, clean enough for me anyway. Uh, cleaned the interior reasonably well. Again, I'm definitely no detailer by any means. Clean enough for me, I'll get it detailed at some point. 
I do want to do a little bit more wheeling sometime soon. As I said, I've scratched every single one of these brand new wheels already. Didn't touch a panel, happy with that. Uh, super stoked on the new snorkel. Just the overall look of the truck now. I'm on the hunt for a bull bar. I wasn't going to go rock sliders, but I'm starting to feel like I need them. Although the standard steps are strong. That's sick. You they were bouncing it off of shit last night. That was sick. Yeah. I might keep them for a little bit longer, but like having that bit more clearance. So. Wish I had them. We'll see. Protected my door. Well, that's what protected my door. <laughs> so there was a bit where um, Princey tapped the tree. Um, the only thing that saved me from hitting that exact same tree was actually the side step. Because it sticks out, it actually pushed me away from the tree. So I guess this part here, where there's a bit of bark, was actually pushing me away from the tree. So I actually got me sill as well. Did you? Yeah, that's not a new ding in the sill. No, I mean, that's not an old ding. That's new. Oh, that one there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's new. Prince, you got a little ding in the sill. And, and then that one there. A little one in the door. Oh, shimmy. L lucky it's a white, like, pod pack. So you'd be right. Oh, mate, it's not a pod pack. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's a piece of shit. <laughs> it's the white, the white, and the white, and then my old canopy on there as well. So, yeah, stoked. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Remember, you can get all your. Shibi Luke Fink and Co merch um, on lukefink.com. Don't forget to watch tomorrow's vlog. There'll be some drifting on that. So, uh, yeah, see you guys then. Peace out. Bye.